Hey folks, we wanted to introduce you to the latest in the Oracle series. There's the Oracle, uh, the original one, and now this is the Touch. This is the Oracle Touch. How is it different? Well, touch screen. Everything you need to know is right in this touch screen. All your menu is in there, and we'll get into that later. Your drinks that you can program is all right here. There is no more of the push buttons and all that. It's all a touch screen. Uh, it still has the same steam arm that uh, you can program in here what temperature you want your milk to be on each drink and also the amount of foam, more or less. And we actually found out you can actually do a little bit of latte art with this. Not to say that I'm going to. Don't get me confused now that with what I say you can do versus what I can do. Uh, bean hopper right up here, the same old story where you can lock it, unlock it, take it out, change the beans in it, and then put it back on. That's kind of nice. Uh, the grinder choice is right here, and it actually is reflected in a bar up here instead of numbers on the front like the other one. It has everything is a little bit different, so I'll show you that in a little bit. 58 millimeter portafilter, the typical uh, commercial grade portafilter, also comes with a single and a double basket, so that's kind of nice. Uh, the other thing that it has that's just like the original Oracle is. Uh, if you want to get at the back, it has this roller bearing up here, a roller ball. All you do is take it and, because without that, this thing's hard to turn around. It's glued to the countertop. So we take it up onto the roller bearing. And look at that. Rolls around with ease. And while we got this turned around, here's the water tank right here. This thing's a swimming pool. 84 ounces of water right there. And charcoal filter that you can put in it. And I'll show you all the stuff that, oh, I'm glad I didn't spill that. I could have. I'll show you all the stuff that comes uh, in the box with it as well. And you'll note also that the uh, casing is just a little bit different on this. Not a lot, just a little bit. The original Oracle had the brushed all the way around. This one has more of the polished on the front and the back. But, I mean, that doesn't affect performance. Water goes in right here. Rather than having to turn it around, you just pour your water in here, and your sight level for your water is right down here. Really nice. So, what comes in the box? Comes with a tamper. I mean, a tamper. That is not a tamper. The tamper is built in there. It's a knock box. Nice little knock box. The water filter, charcoal water filter, and the applicator to put it in there. And also, you can set what month you uh, put that in there so you'll know when to change it. Uh, this is the milk froth cleaner. Comes with your cleaning disc that goes into the portafilter, cleaning tablets. A little needle pin to uh, clean out if there's any residual milk and stuff in the uh, uh, tip over there. And also if you need to be cleaning out your basket, which I doubt that you will. Uh, a couple of wrenches. Uh, grinder brush. Also on the end of the grinder brush is a magnet. There is the tamping device that's up in here that goes around. If you want to clean it, you take the magnet, put it up there, and it just takes it right out. Okay? And then also a brush for your grinder, single basket, and frothing pitcher. Looks like about a, I'm going to say, 16 ounce frothing pitcher. Just guessing there. Don't hold me to it. So I wanted to talk about who is the person that this would be well suited for. It's well suited for a person that likes the convenience of a super automatic where you just go out and push a button, but wants to have a better quality of drink at the end of the day. If you're willing to do, put the portafilter in here and let it do its grind and tamp, which it's gonna do it for you, and then transfer it over to the brew head and then take your milk and put it down there and it'll make the milk for you and then wipe it off. This is the, going to be the perfect machine for you. You don't have, uh, I mean, the convenience is there, but you're still going to get a great drink. Thank you to Breville for addressing that gap that was missing. There's, there's been that gap for a long time where the people want to do all the work and get a great drink, or you do a super automatic and you sacrifice some of the quality of drink. This addresses that. Thanks a lot, Breville. Uh, pros and cons. I already talked about convenience. This is going to make a really good drink uh, without having all the work. So that's a pro. 
And uh, the interface is great on it, I would say. I'm really impressed with that. Tutorials are in there about how to use it. Cons. You don't have quite as much um, control over your drink. You can't control the, um, the tamp pressure or the duration of that tamp. And you cannot do your milk manually any longer. You can just do it by whatever you have programmed in the menu. I don't know that those are real con cons. Those are just differences. I wouldn't say it's a con, but we have to, you know, call them cons, kind of, sort of. So, what do you say? A drink? That's what I think. Let's make a drink. All right, so I wanted to, before we make the drink, I wanted to go over some of the stuff that's on this touch screen. This is loaded. This touch screen is very, um, it's got a lot of information. Uh, first off, I, up in the upper left, is Oracle Touch Guide. Know your, know your Oracle, step-by-step -step tutorial, coffee extraction guide, tips and techniques. This has a lot of information in it. To get out of it, just hit the X. Now on the other side over here, you see a gear. That is the actual menu menu. Quick start guide, auto time, time and date, language and units, uh, clean cycle, descale, brew temperature, default milk temperatures, <laughs> I mean water hardness, auto off, screen brightness, work light brightness, sound value, demonstration mode, and factory settings. You can take it back to the factory settings. So there's a tremendous amount in there and it's very intuitive. It's so simple to use. If I can do it without using the manual and having somebody read the manual to me, then you know it's simple. Now, the other thing you can do, you have all of these drinks. They're available to you. Espresso, Americano, latte, flat white, latte, cappuccino, hot milk, and then add new. Add new is kind of nice. Get in there. Uh, let's, t let's change the flat white. Now I can change it from a single to a double. And on the milk, I can take it up to, eh, I want a lot of foam, right? Then I go to temperature, eh, I want it to be 160, 161, okay? Now, I can pick an icon for that drink that I have just customized. What am I gonna pick? The heart. And then I'm gonna put Gale on it. Check. Done. Now, you know what? I'm not sure I really want the milk at 161. Put your finger on the icon and hold it. Now you can delete it or you can edit it, right? I go back in there, uh, milk 161. I'm gonna go down to 160. How simple is that? So that, this is how this machine works in the touch mode. Now, let's just make a drink. I've got the milk right here. What am I going to do? I'm going to go over and I want to make a latte, right? Now, in the latte settings, this is already preset to grind for 28 seconds, and I can change that if I want to. I'm not going to. Let's let that grind. Pretty cool. It's grinding. Tamping. Done. Dong. The little alert goes off. Okay, so the other thing is I can change this from a single to a double. All right. Let's get the cup. Is that important? Now, what I'm going to do, though, first, I like to do it this way. I like to get the milk going. And when I see that the milk is getting up to around, I'm asking it to do 150. When it's up at about, about ooh, 135 or so, then I'm gonna hit the shot. You can do the shot and the brewing at the same time. This is a double boiler machine. Riveting, right? This is how simple it is. I mean, this machine is so simple. Now I'm gonna brew. 
And then all these countings, that's kind of nice because you know where you're at. You know what the temperature is. You know how long you have left in your brew. It's kind of cool. While that's finishing up, wipe this off. Make sure you wipe it off and then watch. It's gonna clean itself. It even does its own cleaning. So, uh, the foam on this is, I would have liked a little more foam, but I have a feeling this might be latte art quality foam. That's not to say I'm going to do latte art folks, so don't go there, but very nice. Well, I got a little of something. What is that? A tulip coming up in the spring. Just saying, right? Let's see what it tastes like. The quality is very good. Nice, rich foam, and the, the shot was good. You know, done. Boom. It's just as easy as that. Now all you have to do is get rid of the puck. Put it back into the machine to keep it hot, and you're done. That's all there is to it. So that's the Oracle Touch. Let us know if you have any questions about this machine. It's brand new, so I bet you will have questions. Call, email us, and thanks a lot for watching this video, and stay tuned for more featuring the Touch. Thanks.